Hey guys, what's up? Toba Loco here. Welcome to part two of our Egypt 2014 qualification. If you haven't watched the first part, I highly recommend it because we were doing well at the start. Then we ran into a bit of trouble in the first qualifying round. But we're here in the second qualifying round in our little group. We've got Benin, Libya and Tanzania. So it shouldn't be too much of a problem. But the way we played against Rwanda in the first opening match kind of threw some concerns in there so our first match is going to be against libya literal neighbors of egypt so would this be a little bit of a rivalry game i'm not entirely sure but let's just go and find out and see how well libya can play against us if we struggle here against libya then i don't know what to do i know we're away from home and that could affect it and obviously the bad form could affect it, but Egypt should be outright winning this group. I'm not saying we should smash everybody, but we should outright win this group. We're going to hope to utilize Mohamed Salah yet again in this gameplay, the second one. Of course, so he is in bad form. Go on, go for the strike. Oh, good save from the Libyan keeper. Trying to get it, but it's bouncing all over the place. Go for the strike. Oh, off the bar and in. What a strike that was. And that's Amir Zaki with the first goal of Egypt's round two qualifying campaign. What a strike that was. Off the bar and in. That's what you love to see from our main man. And it's just the start we wanted as well. It was bouncing all over the place and someone had to hit it. And it went straight in off the crossbar. Oh, Libya, go for it. That was a weak attempt. And defensively, we were weak as well. So... Tighten up at the back, Egypt. Come on. It's been a bit of a dead game, to be honest. Apart from that, well, that strike we had early on. It's been a bit dead. We can't really get past them. They've gone a bit defensive. Ashur goes for it. Not a powerful one. And it still remains 1-0. It's, a, like I said, just a bit of a dead game. I'm guessing we're just trying to flesh the group out. Both sides are trying to do that. And that was a poor ball. Egypt's not at their best in this match, but maybe we don't need to be. We've already kind of shown that we can score, and um, that's not too bad. 1-0 against Libya, but I want more in the next match. I think in this group, our main rival might be Benin. I'm fairly sure they're the ones that we have to beat in this one. Tanzania, I'm not sure how much of a threat they pose on this group. Libya, we've already beaten them. So, yeah, we are the strongest team in the group, but... You know how I'm like on 2014. I'm not very good at it. Second group stage match against Tanzania. One that we should be winning. But I argue that it probably might be harder than the Libya game. Because of our bad form, we couldn't really control the ball properly. That's why we had to win with a lucky strike. So hopefully here will be more of a dominant performance. They go for it. Oh, that was a very ambitious effort from Tanzania. Ah, uh, what was that? He went down far too easily. That's a yellow card for Zaki. Egypt haven't been very eventful in this first half. Tanzania, very defensive as well. So it's kind of created a stalemate. It's half time. We're struggling against Tanzania to score, but they have sat back and created a lot of problems for us going forward. Ah, uh, what were I doing there? I should have just shot, really. Go on. Oh, yes, we scored. I thought I got fouled then, but yep, yeah, scored. Ibrahim gets the goal and another defensive error. And that has actually been capitalised for once. We have been struggling in these games, but we are trying to repair form. And as he struck it, he did get fouled. So it took a while for the nameplate at the bottom to actually come up. Because I thought maybe it might have been a pen. But no, referee gave it as a goal. Rightfully so. Egypt pressing. Oh, Good block. And Ibrahim again. Just blocked again. Header. Ooh, weak one. But why did the Tanzania keeper decide to do that? That was a bit strange. It's not been the best of games. But that's kind of... Well, it's two things. Egypt being off form. And Tanzania not really pushing forward themselves as well. I think that if Tanzania were better in this game. Like pushing forward and stuff. 
they probably would have made more of a game of it and possibly scored against me. And that's going to be it. Another 1-0. Egypt gets six points. And if we beat Benin, you have to think that we will be going through in this group. Well, hopefully anyway. The form just keeps getting worse and I don't understand why. This Ahmed Fatty guy has gone down by six passing stats. That is crazy. While Goma at the back, Hedering, Hedering's gone down by eight. Like, what am I supposed to do? It's just, it's crazy, you know, it won't, it doesn't give you enough time to sort of do more training sessions to reset those stats. You either have to win games on the bounce, and maybe because I'm only winning like 1-0 or something, that's probably why the form keeps going down, because the game probably thinks, oh, you're supposed to be smashing these teams. It's like, well, no, like... They can be competitive if they want to. Third match of the qualifying group and it's against Benin, arguably the hardest opponent. But I'm hoping that Egypt can come out on top. If we do, then we will pull clear by five points of them. So that is your group as it stands so far. So it's still quite close. If I do drop this game, then it'll be thrown wide open. Through ball here to Ashur. He's trying to push his way through and he has pushed his way through and off the post and out. Crossed in by Benin, and that's their first chance of the game. A weak one, but at least they've done something. Oh, good ball. Mohamed Salah skipping past. He's gone the long route, and Salah scores. That is 1 0. What a run by Mohamed Salah, the bold version of Mohamed Salah. And Egypt take the lead. Very important lead as well. If we beat Benin, we'll start to pull away from the rest of the group. And we only need like maybe one win or something to actually go through. Most of these games, well, the three games that we have played, we just can't seem to control the ball properly. Into the middle here. Zaki goes for it. Oh, what a strike that was from Amir Zaki outside the box. And that is 2-0 to Egypt and thoroughly deserved. From the way we've been pressing them, we needed something like that just to energise us. And this hopefully will give us good form now. 2-0 up against Benin. Like you, the game can't say that this is a bad result because it's a good result. Oh, Benin are pressing forward. Completely unlocked my defence, but oh, that's a penalty. I did think that it was going to be a penalty because he already shot and it rolled into the goalkeeper. And yeah, okay, Benin have a penalty. Really stupid foul. Probably shouldn't have done it. Will they score this pen? It's Sesson Young to step up for Benin. And I went that way, but the goalkeeper just didn't want to save it. And it's 2-1. And Benin missed the chance to equalise. What a chance that was. And Egypt come away with a 2-1 victory. How did Benin not score that at the end? I was literally like when they passed it into the box, thinking to myself, oh no, I've completely blown this match. But Egypt walk away with a good win. And yeah, that's three wins out of three so far. So can we make it a perfect six? So the form is still terrible. I mean, it's going to be, isn't it? When you've got players on minus eight and minus nine stats. But looking at the table just over here, we've got nine points. Benin have four, Tanzania with two and Libya with one. If we beat Benin away from home, then we've surely won the group. How will Benin respond after losing just 2-1 in the last game? I'm hoping that Egypt can come here and make a good impression away from home. Ashur, stolen it away from his man there. Anybody there to support? No. Oh, good save. I accidentally shot. But here comes Salah. He crosses it in. And again, headed away by Benin. Hosni on the ball. Lots of space. Lots of time to release Mohamed Salah out on that wing. He's running. Can anybody get in the box to support Salah? Or will Salah go for it? He went for it. And, um, well, we got the ball back. Go on, Salah again. Oh, I should have probably laid it off. Crossed it by Benin off the top of the bar and headed. Keeper missed it and we clear it. Benin come close to scoring there. Very, very unlucky from them. And here comes Ibrahim. Down here, Zaki. Yes, we counter-attacked and scored in the 39th minute. Zaki scores again to make it 1-0 for Egypt. Going forward, Benin. And again by Benin. And it just goes wide. Goalkeeper was tracking back. And I didn't realise what he was going to do. But half-time, we 
come away with a 1-0 so far. Crossed in, punched away by the Egyptian goalkeeper back into the middle. Can we defend it? Yes, good defending from Goma. Got pushed over, no foul. Again, pushed over, no foul. Benin really trying to push forward, aren't they? Trying to rescue this game. And we steal it away from them. And again, not really an exciting contest, but doing the job here, Egypt. Benin, one final push, perhaps. They are going through, but we just stolen it away. Salah just built it away. Yep, yeah, that's a 1-0 against Benin. Again, not a very interesting match, but we did the job that we came here to do. And yeah, we walk away with another win. That's four wins out of four. One more would definitely seal qualification, but I'm fairly sure we've already sealed it anyway. So that is your group then. We have 12 points. Uh, Benin have four. Tanzania have two points and Libya have one, but they still have to play each other yet. Our next match is against Libya. If we beat Libya here, which I'm fairly sure we will, then I'll probably simulate Tanzania because we are running away with this group anyway. You know, there's no point in playing that last match if we've already won the group by a massive margin. You know, there's no way that any of the teams that are below us can catch us up. I mean, let's just have a look quickly. I mean, yeah, exactly. They can. Um, we're already... Even if we lose our last two games, we're still two points clear. Salah to whip this one in. Decent header and what a save from the Libyan keeper. So casual on that big header. Salah again with the corner. We go for the header again and it's looped off the bar and it stays out somehow. Through ball here. Can we get our first goal? Oh, good tackle. But they didn't get it and we put it wide. How did Gally put that one wide? Right in front of goal as well. Mohamed Salah goes for it. Oh, off the inside of the post and out. Salah would have scored an absolute screamer. But no, denied. Half time and Libya are still holding us, despite the fact that we've had so many good chances. You know, right in front of goal, uh, Gali missed that sitter. And then Mohamed Salah hitting the post from about 30 yards out. You know, as this game's gone on, every time I tackle him and it just keeps going back to him, it's kind of like, well, you know, why bother pushing forward, really? We've already won the group anyway, so there's not really much incentive to go on and win this match other than repairing the form but I think that is pretty much unrepairable at this stage out to Galley went for it it was blocked yet again by Libya can't really help it when it's like that Salah goes for it it goes well wide and a poor Egypt performance has been topped off and yeah I don't know how to feel about that yeah we're through but we drew against Libya not the greatest result in the world so that is the uh, group so even if we do lose our last match and we will simulate it uh, Benin if they win their last match they'll still be three points behind us so we've wrapped the group up pretty much so I think that I'm in a good position to simulate it all right then so we have got a playoff match we simulated it we simulated the last run and we won 1-0 against Tanzania. So about right, to be honest. And our next opponents are Cameroon. This is a qualifying round for round three. So will we beat Cameroon? Probably not. <laughs> I mean, it's going to be tough. We're against one of the hardest teams in the actual playoffs. If we have a look here, Cape Verde Islands have got South Africa, Ghana have got Morocco, Nigeria have got Burkina Faso, Mali have got Guinea, and Cameroon versus Egypt. So we definitely got one of the harder opponents. So we're going to do that in this video and see if we go through to the World Cup or if we get eliminated. The form is still terrible. Can't really do anything about it now. We just got to hope and get lucky against Cameroon. So even though we pretty much won all but one of our games in the qualifying group for round two, we still get terrible form and we have to play Cameroon. So the game has kind of gone, well, you've won the games, but you've only won by like one or two goals. So yeah, you're going to have bad form. It's like, okay, I kind of understand that in a way because maybe I should have been beating them by more goals and scoring more goals with the forwards when I had the chances and stuff like that. But really and truly, they're still wins at the end of the day, aren't they? Egypt versus Cameroon here. Ashur, if he goes for the strike, that is a wild one as we start this game off. And it's actually a corner. It deflected. That's probably why it was so wild. Salah to take it. Crossed in. 
Header, oh, it's gone miles wide. Be disciplined here and hope that we can just get past Cameroon's tough defence and deal with their strikers as well. Eto, it's going to be really difficult to shut down. Okay, why can't we tackle him? I'm pressing the B button and into the box and still pressed around there and it's gone in. And that is Samuel Eto with the first goal away from home as well. That's an important one for Cameroon, but a devastating one for us. 1-0 down. I don't know how the goalkeeper didn't save that, to be honest. It wasn't the most powerful of headers. Maybe it caught him off guard. But again, bad defending by Egypt. Through ball. Oh, cut out there by Cameroon. This is a problem when you're in terrible form. Even though you've won most of your qualifying games. Actually going unbeaten in qualifying. This is what's going to happen. And Cameroon again. Just put it wide. They are all over me in these first 30 minutes. Maybe having a weaker group has actually failed us in this qualifying. Because, you know, we're playing weaker teams. And, you know, beating weaker teams is okay. But you're not putting yourself up against any tough opposition. So when we're in this kind of situation, when we need to win... We're not going to do it because we haven't really got the form to do it. Through ball here. Cut out by Cameroon. They've just been so good defensively. Shutting me down every time I keep going forward. Not letting me go forward past the midfield area. Players aren't getting forward when they need to. Unfortunately. Even though I am, you know, all out attack right now. It's a decent ball. Cameroon have got it. And they go for the overhead. And it's headed and the goalkeeper saves it. The overhead was crazy. How did they not score that for a start? If they did, it would have put me out. And it's cut out by Cameroon. And they're going to walk away with a victory here in the first leg of qualifying for the third round. And I think it's probably safe to say we're actually out, to be honest. Because we haven't been playing well. Cameroon have been way better and they're just going to do it again in the reverse fixture. And it's going to be harder as well because we're away from home. Well, the form just keeps getting worse and worse and worse. The goalkeeper is the only player that's on sort of middle of the range form. The rest of them are severely down. And, you know, it doesn't help that we've lost that match against Cameroon because we have to go away from home. We have to beat them now away from home. And yeah, I think, I think like I said, we are already out. We need two goals. Where are those goals going to come from? Because we couldn't find anybody in the first match. Cameroon pressing forward. You can tell they're in good form. The way they're playing and everything. The way Egypt are playing so far has been absolutely horrible. Here we go. That better not be offside. Pass to Salah. Oh, it got cut out. I didn't have the shooting angle. Mohamed Salah goes for it. Oh, just wide and high from Mohamed Salah. I don't know what I was doing trying that kind of shot. We've had more attempts than we did in the first match. But, well, they're not the best, are they? Football. And again, no actual run from the Egyptian player. They actually stood still. Football. Come on, Ashor. Into the box. Go on. Oh, goalkeeper saves. How unfortunate was that? And we're going to go into half time at 0-0. Yes, we are. We probably should have scored that chance. It might have leveled the game. I'm not sure how the away goals work. I'm going to have to do it. I'm going to have to put on some players that have got better form than these players. Ashur has just not been doing it. Um, let's put on this guy as well for Ibrahim. Um, how about who else? We've got Ghetto. We could put Ghetto on. I mean, he's rated 69. Let's go for it. Why not? Let's just try it. And that's a great slide tackle by Cameroon. This computer, this AI is on, on fire. Me, on the other hand, I'm terrible. I can't even get forward. There's no way that Egypt would have gone through. And here comes Webo. He's in behind. And what a save by the Egyptian keeper. Given us half a chance. We've already made up all our substitutes already. So all my defenders are starting to get injured. They're starting to get tired. 2014 is very cruel when it wants to be. I'm looking for it. He's got no stamina at all. Out to the wing here. Crossed in. Oh, that was a horrible ball by Egypt. Still got it though. And still got it. And we give it away. That is going to be it. I think Cameroon are going to go to the World Cup. Egypt, on the other hand, have been absolutely terrible. And the game has really 
like messed me up. There we go. Have that Cameroon. I don't care. We're out. We're already out anyway. And we may as well just throw it all away at the end because that is very frustrating. Extremely frustrating how Egypt have been playing throughout the whole entire video. We could only really muster up one nils, two nils and stuff like that. And Chupo Motting finishes off Egypt and this qualification series off with a massive L for Egypt. They were terrible. Egypt, when it came down to the big games, we just couldn't handle the big boys in Africa. We really couldn't do it. It's really a shame because we went unbeaten in our qualifying group, but the game decided to give me bad form because we weren't winning big enough, I assume. I don't know how 24 team works. On the higher difficulties with the form, it can be a bit frustrating. All right then, so it's doing its thing and simulating the rest of the tournament. I saw a few noteworthy teams in there we can check out, but let's see who wins this whole thing. I'm seeing Mexico, Germany, Portugal, Spain, who would it be? It's Spain. So they went back to back, if you think about it, because they won 2010 against Italy. So, yeah, congratulations to Spain. I don't think that we would have performed very well anyway, because look at this. Like, some of these players had terrible stats. So, anyway, that was your qualifying series with Egypt on 2014. I know a few of you have actually been asking for it, and I'm sorry that I couldn't perform to the usual standards. Sometimes 2014 is a lot harder because of the form system and everything like that. And I do appreciate it because it makes it more of a challenge, but it's so frustrating when I almost maybe could have drawn against Cameroon, but we just couldn't get forward enough. If you did enjoy this series, then give it a like and subscribe. Keep it loco as always, and I'll see you again for the next video.